a 420 watt uh, monocrystalline solar panel from VIP. So we want to do a practical test or ID test using our multimeter to see how far or what energy will this solar panel generate. Actually, it's rated 420 watts on the sticker, but I'm doubting if this will generate up to that 420 watts. So we are going to use our digital multimeter to check the voltage and the current and multiply together to get the watts because that is how watts is calculated. You multiply the current by the voltage, you get the watts. The weather is very dull because, you know, we don't want to do this test. Uh, Sun decided to go inside, but we'll still carry out the test. So let's carry out this test under this dull weather and see how far this solar panel will generate. So here we have our digital multimeter. First, let's check the current. We're going to check the current first, then we'll check the voltage. So bring it down. Come closer so that you can see the meter. So let's check the current. Okay, with this door weather, we are able to get 2.1 amp coming from this solar panel. The next thing we'll be checking is the voltage. On the sticker, uh, the voltage is rated 36.0 volts, but with uh, high weather or with high sun, will generate more than 36 volts. And the rated current is 11.6 amps, which I'm still doubting if we'll get up to that. So let's use our meter to check the voltage. So we have about 39.7 volts coming from this very solar panel with this dull weather. So the voltage we got on the uh, digital multimeter is different from what is written on the sticker. On the sticker, the panel is being rated 36.0 volts while the current is 11.6 amps. But with our digital multimeter, we are able to get 39.7 volts and 2.7 amps. So we are going to multiply the 2.7 amps by uh by 39.7 volts to see the amount of current this solar panel will generate in a dull weather so 2.7 multiply by multiply by 39.7 okay so with dull weather this panel is able to generate 107 Point nineteen watts. That is the amount of energy generated in a dull weather. So thank God the sun is up. We are going to do another uh, test again using our digital multimeter to see how far it will generate when the sun is at peak. So uh, make sure our solar panel is directly facing the sun and the sun is out. We are going to check the voltage again, then check the current and do another multiplication. So we are checking the voltage now. Okay, we have 41.8 volts coming from this solar panel let's check the current then do the multiplication and see how far it will generate at peak sun so we have about 6.8 amps it will get up to 7 points okay 6 points okay we have seven amps. We have seven amps coming in or coming out of this solar panel right now. If you can see the sun is out. Though this test is as early as uh, between 10 and 9 a.m. in the morning. So let's multiply uh, 7.0 by 41.8. So 7.0 multiply by uh 41.8 this solar panel is able to generate 292.6 watts with this very sun we are having right now though if the sun is high maybe higher than this it might it might be able to generate up to 350 watt or 380 watts depending on the weather condition with dull weather we are able to generate 107 watts and when the sun came up we are able to generate 290 something watts so it means uh, the higher the intensity of the sun there are possibility that this solar panel will generate up to that 11 amps is a possibility 
so i'm not saying it will generate that 11 amps but it may generate close to that 11 amps because the voltage have exceeded what is written on the stick already and the amount of current we have shortage 120 watts uh, monocrystalline solar panel